Phil Griffin apologized to Ryan's Priebus. Uh, Fox News goes crazy, doesn't let it go. In fact, that validates their position. Oh, we told you. We told you. You see that? They're race baiters. Not conservatives, but the liberals are race baiters. So is that going to be enough for Ryan's Priebus? Now that he's got his apology and uh, he magnanimously said yesterday, the chairman has accepted the apology. Okay. Oh, thank you, chairman. Okay. Yeah. Now he's going to go on Fox News. And is it enough? Of course not. Watch. You demanded the apology from who's the head or the leader of that propaganda firm? Yeah, Phil Griffin. Phil Griffin. And you got the apology. Where does it stand now? Well, I mean, look, you know, in their their professed world of tolerance, you know, they're sure hitting on all eight cylinder in all eight cylinders of intolerance. Um, you know, it started with you know Melissa Perry and and comments about Mitt Romney's new grandchild, Martin Bashir and Palin. Now, I, I think actually you, you've shown a lot of patience up until this point, and for example, especially on the issue of race. I'm just not going to stand up as chairman of the party and take it. And so, look, this was a first step. It was the first time I talked to Mr. Griffin. Uh, he reacted pretty quickly. And now we have to stay on top of it. So you know what? Um, it's sort of like being on probation, I guess. But the fact that the matter is, we're here, we're watching them, and it's our responsibility, and it's mine in particular, I think, also, to stand up for our party. And so um, I, that's what I did today, and, I, and, I'm, and I'll oh. do it again. So I promise you that. We had to call them out on it, and I'm happy they reacted. But more to come. Yeah, well, there's definitely, definitely more to come, more to oh, come definitely. right? Well, we're, there's more apologies to come. Yeah, we're going to keep slapping him around. That now he gets to strut around like he's Kurt Russell in Tombstone. Like he just just bitch slapped <laughs> Phil Griffin. He said, "What, what are you going to do? Stand there and bleed uh -huh, all day, uh -huh. right?" And Rice Priebus did that. Rice too. Priebus. Rice Priebus. You see that little punk? Okay, to let that guy bully you around. Oh, that's so sad. How does a person not respond to what we just saw it, for, for, for Phil Griffin? How do you not respond with, I don't care what it's going to take. I'm going to make this motherfucker pay. Right. Like, he called you a bitch on the, on the fucking air. So like, why doesn't... How, as a human, do you not respond by saying, okay, Martin Bashir, you're back on the air. <laughs> start talking about shit. That would be An awesome. hour and night, shit, shit in Sarah Palin's mouth. I'm that's the only reasonable response. <laughs> that would be awesome. How does so here? I'll try to be calm about it. How? How does uh, Phil Griffin not just go? Uh, why did the last two out of the three chairmen of the Republican National Committee apologize for the Southern strategy? What is that? And why did you guys apologize for it twice? Mm. And what is so? What do tell? Just explain to people what that is. Why didn't he just say that? The Southern strategy is a thing. They've acknowledged it. It's race baiting, and they've the two of the last three RNC chairmen have apologized for it. All, all Phil Griffin has to say, he won't even fucking say yeah. that. Yeah. So uh, to add insult to injury was that line about. They're on probation. We're on probation from oh, the racists. Oh, you want to put me on probation? <laughs> oh, oh, you. Oh, they're on probation. But you know what? They had it coming. You know, if if the, if this oh. is how you act, and you're and you're weak, and you constantly with you hand oh. over your lunch money to oh. to the bully, bully. this they, is what's going to happen, right? So look, I got to just say one thing about this. Okay, it's important that the audience understand that Phil Griffin in no way, shape, or form represents progressives in this country. And furthermore, he's actually not a progressive. Mm. I know Phil Griffin. I've talked to Phil Griffin. He doesn't care about politics, okay? Right. Let alone being a liberal right. or a progressive. He's just a guy in a corporation trying to rise up the ladder. He happens to be in this position. He looked into running a progressive network that's successful. He fought a tooth and nail. He didn't want to hire Rachel Maddow. He didn't want Keith Oberman to do those progressive commentaries. He fought him tooth and nail. It's yeah. not like, oh, well, okay, I agree with Oberman and Maddow. I know they let it, but I got lucky. No, it's not even that. He didn't want to go there. Now this guy has become the voice of progressives. You know, just bowing down to the Reince Priebus and the Republicans. Oh, we're so sorry. We're so Look, I got news for you. We're not sorry, okay? You did the Southern strategy, as Jimmy said, which was explicitly racist. It was to get the white voters in, in the South by being against blacks, okay? You are racist. Your history as a party is racist <laughs> since yes. the civil rights era, okay? So don't come crying to me about how you want an apology over a nonsense tweet, okay? Look, 
Forget Phil Griffin and MSNBC. Oh, forget they don't, them. No, they don't represent progressives. Oh, forget okay. them. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay, he, come back to me. These colors don't run. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>